Hey guys, Sam back with another GTA Online for next gen video. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, it really helps me out. So, anyways, let's get straight into this video. So, today I'm going to be showing you basically the most badass vehicle in the game up to date. It is, I'm not sure if it's in the current gen or not current gen, but last generation, so Xbox 360 and PS3. But this car is called the uh, Imponte Dukes, I believe. Yep, right down there in the bottom right hand corner. And basically it is the General Lee, so you can't actually get the Confederate flag on the top, but <laughs> that sucks. But you can get the next best thing is the Great Britain flag or UK or whatever. And basically I'm going to show you guys the modifications you need to make it look exactly like the General Lee from the Dukes of Hazard. So basically this is about the closest thing you can get. Uh, I added that little scoop on the front, the Ram Air hood, and... Basically, that uh, makes it look a little cooler, but all you really need to do is you can leave the bumpers the same. You can add a wheelie bar or a custom front splitter if you want, but you can leave those the same. The exhaust, you can leave the same. It's basically the same if you go to the dual exit. Otherwise, you can have side exit. Um, the hood, actually, that would be the closest thing, but I, I don't think it really looks the best with just a flat looking hood so I just put that little scoop on it the ram air and the horn you want to change it to the musical horn one I'm pretty sure that's the rebel call <laughs> from the actual Dukes of Hazzard um, and you don't have to add neon lights but I just added the blue to sort of fit in with the rebel flag on the top and the license plate you don't have to touch so all you have to do is touch the paint job so the primary I put as metallic just regular old orange it looks awesome and for the secondary I put chrome I think looks pretty sweet here if we can get a front view I put my crew emblem but if you want you for the crew emblem you can just put a zero and a one and it'll look exactly like the Dukes of Hazzard the General Lee so I'll try to get a better view of the front of the chrome like grill Oh shit. But anyways, that's basically all you need to do. I just want to show you guys one more thing, how to get the flag on the top. I accidentally exited the mod shop, but you can see the, uh, you can sort of see the chrome there. It's pretty sweet looking with the chrome, I think. So let's head back in here, and I'll show you guys how you can get the flag on the top. And I actually put the stunt roll cage, I'll show you that in a second. That actually makes it look pretty cool, um... Again, you don't have to put that in to make it look exactly like the General Lee. You actually don't need it, but I put the stunt roll cage. So you can put a regular roll cage chassis upgrade, no roll cage, which is stock. Or you can put the stunt cage. So now the roof is what you want to deal with, and you're going to want to... Well, let's see here. The, the stock roof is just like that crappy looking thing there. But if you change it to the British flag... That makes it look the closest to the General Lee, so I think that's everything you need. Um, you can obviously put as many mods on it as you want. Now, what's funny is there's a wheelie bar option here, or you can go to the bumpers and there's a wheelie bar option there. So uh, you don't have to even touch the window smoke. If you want to, you can just fully mod this. Uh, another thing I want to show you is on the hood is the actual uh, triple intake bug catcher. Now that thing, see how it's chrome, You can the secondary color is linked with it, so where it says the 750 brake horsepower there, you can actually change that. You change the secondary color and it changes that color, so I'll sort of just show you here. Um, the respray, secondary color, say if I want my crew, now that looks pretty badass actually, but I'm going to leave it as the other one. But anyways guys, hope you guys enjoyed this, hope this helped you out to sort of make your own General Lee. And I think this car is probably the most badass car in the game. Uh, at least that's what I think. I read this thing all over the place. I just love it. And I'll sort of take it for a test drive for you guys. This thing has an awesome rev limiter if you just like... I think in like first gear, if you like tap the um, emergency brake or handbrake, it actually gets the RPMs way up there if you hit it when it's in the right part of the power band. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. See that? That rev limiter is just badass. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe for more awesome GTA Online content. 
And if you guys are interested in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, I have tons and tons of videos on that. So make sure you subscribe and check out my channel. I'll have tons more content coming soon, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later in my next video. Making their way. It's just a little bit more than a normal life. Just a good old boy. Wouldn't change if they could. Fighting the system like a two modern day Robin Hood.